Hi everyone, welcome back to Tara's Take. I'm Tara. It's nice to meet you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. I love you guys. <laughs> so I screwed up and I had to restart the video, so um, I realized what I did. But we're going to be making a, a little um, index notebook for our journals. That's a flip index notebook, okay? Super easy. I don't know if somebody else has done this. I just thought of it over the weekend by myself, and I thought, well, I'll see if it works, and it did. So you're going to need some index cards, your bone folder if you want to use that, if not, your scissor handles, a pair of scissors, um, some glue, and some fun things to decorate with. You can use large index cards or small. I did this one with small, and I used some crinkle seam binding. You could use ribbon, whatever your preference is, or you could just do it without a closure. I just thought it was cute did a little tab here not for any particular reason I just liked it <laughs> you know me and tabs I love them so anyway just take you through it's only about four or five pages thick I didn't do it super thick because um, I want to put it in my journal and I didn't you know want it huge but you could actually make these as thick as you want and you can also do them as floaters in your journal and you can just you don't have to have that that back flap you can just glue it down or not have it at all just trim it off and there you go you've got a little so it's going to go into a journal and glue down and then it'll be like that and you know they'll be able to open and close it okay so let's get started so all we're going to do you're going to decide how many pages you want yours i've got let's see one two one two three four five six on this one i what i did was i glued uh glued i coffee dyed some of my index cards over the weekend and then i ironed them out so they'd be flat and I just used a spray bottle with coffee in it. I keep one next to me all the time. And it has um, alcohol, 91% alcohol or whatever for it to stay and not get all moldy and weird. So anyway, all you're going to do is, I'm just going to show you one time because it's super easy. But you're going to want to have, okay, it's optional. I'm putting a blank side on the back of my notebook and a blank side on the front, okay? So I've already got these folded and ready to go. Um, you wanna make sure, you know, your line, get your wide line on the right side up at the top before you fold it. And I'm gonna go ahead and do one that's gonna be for the front. So I want to turn that over and I'm gonna fold it about, it's just, right at a half an inch to just under a half an inch, okay? That's how big I made my flap. So the way I did these, it made it easier for me. Once I did one, I just put them together and then used that as a navigator and folded it, just like our Miss Tina does with her papers. <laughs> okay, so there we go. And so now I have one that's ready for a cover, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is you're going to take your second page, and that'll have the lines on it. And it's preferential, like I said. You don't have to put the lines, you know, you can put them any way you want. I wanted mine to have a blank front and have the lines on the inside. So I'm going to put some glue on the flap. And what we're going to do is you're going to glue these flaps. You're going to glue this directly to the next card, okay? Get it on there nice and even as even as possible. Okay. Give it a good press. And now you have the first two pages. See? Super easy, right? Super easy. Okay. And so now for the next one, you're going to take the two you did. You're going to put some glue on the flap. Just another fun way to use index cards. And like I said, I'm not sure if somebody else has done these. I've never seen them. I, I didn't go in and look, so I don't know. Maybe there is somebody out there. I'm sure somebody else has thought of this. I'm <laughs> not that brilliant. <laughs> okay. Let me just give it a good press. Now we got three pages. And as you can see, this is kind of cool. It just opens up really nice and easy. And you've got all this writing space or decorating space. Now be careful, I glued this one on a little bit cockeyed, okay? I just noticed that, so let me see if I can... Oh, I pressed it over and it went, that's good. Okay, it's straightened out pretty good. 
Eh, it's a little off, but nothing that I'm going to worry about. Okay, take these three and lay the next one down. And like I said, oh, that's one. I think that's one for the outside. Or I folded it in the wrong way. There we go. <coughs> next one again. Put your glue on the top one. The one with the, the glued together pieces so far. On your flap. And then just glue those down together. Yep, I'm a little bit off with this, but it's okay. If it's too far off like this one, I'm just going to trim. Watch. There you go. <laughs> Not a biggie. <laughs> Okay, so now we have four pages, and as you can see, it's not super thick, you know, it's just, it's kind of a cute little notebook. You've got, oh, I put that one on backwards, oh well. Okay. Okay, this one is, yeah, okay. <clears throat> Again, we're going to have glue. And once you get to where you want the last one, then you're going to turn you're going to turn your paper. And I'll show you what I mean in just a sec. You're going to turn your index card the opposite direction. I'm trying to get this one to come down a little bit. There we go. I don't feel like I got enough glue on that one. Or that one right there. I moved it or something. There we go. Just press that together again. Okay. And now I have one, two, three, four, five. So I'll make this my last one. Now, I want this to be on the outside because mm. I already folded it. I think I need to, yeah, I'm going to fold me another one and I'll show you. So because I want the blank part on the outside, okay, with the no lines, I'm going to go ahead and put the lines facing the inside of the notebook and then I'm going to fold the flap the opposite direction, okay? And like I said, it doesn't really matter. It's just preference. If you want it to be the other way, don't worry about it. Not a big deal. And then I'm going to put my glue again on my flap. Okay. And straight down on that edge. Yeah, gluing them and folding them this way gives you the optimum amount of journaling space. So, I didn't quite go far enough down with this one. There we go. All right. Yep, this one I did a little bit off. Darn it. It's okay. We'll just trim a tiny bit here on this edge. Okay. And now it's ready to decorate. So you've got your little notebook. Fun, huh? All right, so <clears throat> I'm not going to do another one. I'm just going to go ahead and decorate this one. I am contemplating, though, I was thinking, because I did some, let me see if I can find them. I did do these, and I thought that might be kind of cute. I made, um, I took index cards last week, and I just sprayed them with my metallic 
uh, Tim Holtz, you know, or Ranger uh, mica sprays. And then I did like vintage on the back, but I was thinking I could make one with these as well. That would be really pretty actually. So I might do that. I'm not sure yet, but let's go ahead and decorate this one. Okay. So I'm thinking actually I could use one of these pieces to go on the front as a pocket. That would be really pretty. Hmm, which one do we want? Let's see. We've got them in red, green, and gold, and copper. Uh, I did a bunch of different ones. Mm -mm -mm. Which one, which one? I like that one. I'm going to use that one. I'm going to go ahead and get my my goodies out here. I wanted to, that's why I coffee dyed everything yesterday. I was like, or Saturday, I mean. Today is actually Monday um, for me. And there we go. So now we can do that on there and that's going to be adorable. We're going to go ahead and really distress this thing. And you could distress it in colors, you know, you could make it blue or purple or pink or whatever you want. You don't have to use, I'm using walnut stain, you don't have to. You can use any colors. I could have matched this up with the blue. I might even possibly add some blue to go with it. That would look cool. You know me in blue and brown. I love that. And then you can just go through and kind of do your edges. <laughs> Courtney always teases me when he calls. If he hears this sound, he's like, you're distressing. He knows it now. Do your husbands do that? It just cracks me up. He's talking yesterday to me about digikits, and he's talking about all this stuff. And he's using our lingo, and it's just so funny. <laughs> and he's like, I know exactly what I'm talking about now. I said, I know. Did you ever think you'd know about all this stuff? Because I didn't even know this stuff existed before you. <laughs> oh, he's funny. He cracked me up. Um, I'm trying to think. What was it? Oh. I told him, I even asked his permission if I could tell you this story because it's so funny and it's kind of embarrassing for him, but it's really cute. So we have these neighbors and they have chickens and they are now selling their eggs and they have a rooster. Well, the rooster got out of their yard and after talking to the, the young kid, it, it's the neighbor is a, his grandmother and he lives there, and he's the one who's managing the chickens. And he's, you know, about 20. And he's, we were talking after the fact, and he, we figured out that his dogs probably startled the rooster, and the rooster flew over the fence. Because whenever, you know, they don't really try to fly that much, but whenever they get startled, they'll jump and, and kind of flap their wings and fly. And so the fence is kind of short right there. And he got over into our yard. Well, our yard, the fence was taken down, so it's really open. And we happened to, God, this thing is bouncing. That's annoying. Um, <clears throat> we went outside, and Cordy was going to, I think he was going to leave and go somewhere. And um, Or no, he had just gotten home from work. That's right. And <laughs> the rooster's in our yard, and there's no fence. Well, we have a neighbor dog who isn't fenced. And, you know, and this, this rooster, it turns out he's actually like a really rare breed and he's expensive. So if anybody knew chickens or knew roosters, they would recognize that. And I was just concerned that somebody might steal him, come and grab him, or he'd get out you know, in the road, or maybe the dog would get him or something. So we decided we would try to <laughs> put this rooster over the fence, okay? Because I tried to get Miguel, that's the neighbor boy, and he was at work and I was outside their house. I even, went over and was yelling their names through the fence because I didn't want to walk into their front yard because they have their Doberman and their um, they have a pit bull and a Doberman, which neither one of them are very old and they don't, supposedly they don't bite, but you never know, right? So <clears throat> I didn't want to just walk in the yard. And so 
um, I was outside their fence yelling their names and trying to get them to come out. And then I realized they're just not home. So Cordy, he comes out with a, okay, he comes out first with a laundry basket. This is the funny part. And I'm thinking, what are you going to do with the laundry basket? And he was trying to kind of scoop up the rooster because he didn't want to pick the rooster up. And he's never been around, you know, chickens and stuff. And so <laughs> he, he couldn't do it that way. So then he's like, I'm not touching that thing. And I said, I know, I'm not either. Because I grew up on a farm, but I'm scared of roosters because I got chased by them as a little girl. <laughs> so I can't really, I know they can tear, they can tear you up. And so, <laughs> so our neighbor man, one of the guys who lives next door, um, he comes home and he's sitting in his truck and he's an older Hispanic man and he's just sitting in his truck, you know, on his phone and doing whatever. And, and so we were out there for like 15, 20 minutes. And so the thing that's really funny, I know I'm, I'm taking forever to get to the point. So Cordy gets these black pieces of tile, ceramic tile that we have that used to be in the yard and they're all stacked up. So he picks up three of them and he walks over by the fence and sits them by the fence. And then he takes three more and he sits it on, on top of the other three. And he's trying to get the rooster to jump up onto the block so he can jump over the fence. And so I'm just sitting at the side watching him. And then he goes over and he says, well, maybe, maybe he can, <coughs> I'm sorry, guys, maybe he can run up the ladder. And so he goes and he gets this ladder and the, the, the steps are like, you know, way far apart. He goes and gets this ladder and he leans it on the fence. <laughs> and the rooster's like, what are you doing? The rooster's looking and he's running back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And Cordy's trying to coax him. I said, honey, you do realize that roosters and chickens aren't very smart, right? <laughs> He's probably not going to understand what you want him to do. Oh, my gosh, you guys, it was so hysterical. And <laughs> I was laughing so much. And then the older man comes out of his truck. And he's like, uh, you know, what are you guys doing? <laughs> I don't so he came over. I go, do you know anything about about roosters and chickens, Ruben? <laughs> that's his name. And he, he walked over and he he goes ah, a little bit and he walks over and he just he's like scoops up the, the rooster underneath and the rooster freaks out and starts flopping everywhere. But as he did it, he just kind of guided the rooster over the fence as the, the rooster's like, ah, you know, and it was hysterical. The rooster was home and safe. And then Miguel came home like right after that, the young man who they, who belonged who he belongs to and we were busting up laughing it was just the funniest thing and my and Cordy's like Miguel don't laugh at me too hard man I never were I never been around roosters and chickens and he went in the house <laughs> so I told him honey can I tell this story to my girls they're gonna crack up <laughs> he said go ahead <laughs> So that was my funny anecdote, my funny Cordy story. It was the cutest thing, you guys. I wish you could have seen it. <laughs> you would have had so much fun giggling at him with me. Anyway, so, okay, now we have our little cover, and we can decorate that. And I, of course, would love to see some of these little stickers work. So let's see if we can find something pretty in our little... You know me. Oh, I love these so much. Um, let me see. I want something that'll let, <clears throat> excuse me, that'll let the, kind of the color of that shine through. I'm not sure if I want a sticker or if I want a cover. I mean, a, um, more like pictures. Yeah, that's not the right color. I may not have anything that matches. That one's kind of nice. It's gray. Oh, that bird's pretty. Let's see. How's it go? Like that? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, look at that fox. He's cute. I do have the girls. I can look and see if we have anything here. It's got to be the right shades to go together. You know what I mean? Um, 
Oh, she's pretty. Let me see. Oopsie. I think this is my last one of these. That one would look pretty cool. So, okay, you guys. I have such amazing news. And I'm not sure if I should share it yet. Um, oh my gosh, I want to tell you guys so bad. Hmm. I'm debating because it hasn't happened yet. It's supposed to happen this week. Oh wait, this one would look really good on here, I think. I like her. Or maybe I should just do the darker brown. I could even trim. I'm debating because I've been invited to do something and it's not going to start yet. Nobody said I couldn't, I didn't, you know, I didn't, or that I couldn't mention it. But now that I started to mention it, I'm like, oh, maybe I shouldn't say anything yet. Um, now you're all like, just tell us. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> well, I've had a very, I'm going to go ahead and tell you because I'm really excited and I love her so much and I uh, can't wait to, to, to start. But so yesterday morning, as I was getting ready for church, I noticed that I had a message on my Terrace Take page. Um, there we go. And I opened it, and it was from Natalie, Tina's, Tina's sister from Shabby Dabby Doo Doo. And it was inviting me to be a part of her design team. I started crying and we couldn't believe it. I couldn't, I just couldn't believe it. And, um, I don't know what all that's going to entail yet, but I am going to be receiving, uh, some work product on this week to, uh, to work with her. And I'm, I am beyond, you know, how much I love Artina and how, you know, what a blessing she's been to my getting started. She was my inspiration to even do the channel when I first started. And she was the reason, you know, that I knew I could do what I'm doing now. And so anyway, I, that's my news. <laughs> I, can, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I squealed and, and cried. <laughs> and my husband was like, what's wrong? And he came running out and he was hugging me. He was so happy because he knows Tina too <laughs> because of me. <laughs> and yeah, so that's my news, guys. And I, I'm so, oh my goodness, I'm so much more excited than um, I can even begin to show you guys right now. Just know that I am literally thrilled, thrilled, thrilled beyond anything <laughs> and consider it an honor and a blessing to have been, um, to have been invited. Um, she's so precious to me and to get to actually work with her in this capacity is, yeah, I, you guys know how much I love our girl. So you know how exciting this is to me. So much so that I have no idea what I am going to do with this little booklet. Just talking about it makes me giddy inside. I am so thrilled. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I was looking to see if I could do some little layering here, you know. And uh, these are actually some things from Tina, these little, these little, uh, signs and stuff that I have, these little adverts and stuff. I believe these are from her. I have so many. Gosh, I don't even know what I want to put on here. I've got myself all discombobulated now. I think what I used with the other day was I used some of this, oops, I've got it backwards, this paper. It's super thin paper and... I just, oops, sorry guys. 
I just tore it down and I'm looking to see if I have any more that would look good on here. Mm. I like that one. But I'm not sure if I want to use that one to tear down. I kind of I really like this one too. When I did this one, I used these papers and tore down sections of them and just kind of made the cover for. I probably should have waited to sit that down on there. Let's see. So let's see if I can do something with this, it'll be cute. So yeah, can you, oh, gosh. can you believe it? And, and I mean, working with her, with working with her kits and her, you know, collections and stuff is like what I've been doing for over, I mean, I own so many kits from Tina. It's, it's hysterical. I have an entire case that's filled with nothing but her fussy cuts, you know, fussy cuts from her digits. I mean, literally, I have an entire case. And I have worked with her papers for the last two and a half years. So it's just like second nature to utilize what she has. And so, yeah, to do those is going to be just a thrill. I'm going to see if I can tear this up. I want to put this underneath and then maybe put this one on top. I don't know how. I mean, I can always put some glue on it if it won't well, no if it doesn't want to work <clears throat> but I think this will fit yeah there we go see I like that look the torn edges in the background like that and I'm going to use oh guess what I got I finally got a yoohoo stick oh my goodness and it does work good it does um I got it on Amazon because I was almost out of glue stick and and you know I couldn't order my other one I've been talking about that for weeks they haven't had it so <clears throat> my four pack. I just won't pay seven ninety nine, eight ninety nine for one stick when I can pay like twelve ninety nine for four sticks usually. And yeah, so I'm stubborn that way. I, yeah, so let's get this on here. There we go. I like that. Now I'm thinking to put her toward the center. I don't know yet. We'll see. She may not end up going on there at all, you know. The good thing is these Yoohoo sticks that I got, I don't know if they're all like this, but they have the twist on top. So you kind of get um, a little more protection for your glue stick. That's nice, right? Okay. Hmm. Let's go ahead and go through. And I kind of liked to have like the strips on the side too so I was thinking I've got all these fun strips that we've made before of our little tape remember these we did a few weeks ago well I guess it's been a couple months ago now and I was thinking these might be kind of fun on the sides of the pages just to do different ones so let's see here And that's that double-sided tape, so I can just I can just tape it down. There we go. That's cute. I am gonna glue this down a little bit because I don't want it getting caught and torn. wipe so I'm not getting glue all over myself. Okay. Yep, so anyways, that's my big my big news and be praying for me that I do a good job with her with her work. And those videos I make will go up of course for your enjoyment and for your inspiration, I hope. And I'm thinking I will go ahead and do use. I've been wondering where I would end up using these little strips. So 
So now we know. I'm thinking I might use like some of, like match them up on each page like this one just for fun and then I'm going to do some glue. I'm going to go ahead and put the glue on first. That'll be a little bit better, right? Okay. We went out to lunch after church yesterday with our friends and um, his son was, uh, they're the elderly couple we went on vacation with a few weeks ago or last month, I guess. And um, so yeah, we went out to lunch and had a really fun time, all giggling and laughing at the table, and church was awesome. I thought I was supposed to teach the kids yesterday, and it was so funny, before church I was getting ready and I was going to leave, you know. And then I went to go and I thought, just now I really truly know, it was, you know, because I was just going, I was getting ready, I was like, I was out the door, and then somebody... Something inside of me, and I know it's the Holy Spirit, just said, Tara, go. You need go check your schedule. Look at it one more time. And sure enough, you guys, I looked at it, and I was not scheduled. I was so glad I didn't. Um, not that they wouldn't have been able to put me to work, but it would have just messed our schedule up because then I'd have been on schedule for next week, and it would have messed us up for that. So I really like this on the edge of these pages. It's fun. And I think, I think, I don't know if I have enough for the whole thing. I'll probably have to use some more of it. But at least it's getting used. It's just been sitting there. I've been hoarding it, not knowing where I wanted to use it. You know how that is, you guys. But yeah, so that was my almost snafu yesterday. But praise God, he stopped me from making that mistake. Because <laughs> usually I go every other week. And I guess there was the weeks the way they fell. Um, she's scheduling me like the second and last week of the month. So I'm not going to go by the every other week thing because that's not how the girl who's scheduling us does it, I guess. So, mm -hmm. I've been, I've been having to sleep on the couch, so we're saving for a mattress and we're looking, we're kind of shopping around for a mattress. So, um, I've been sleeping out on the couch, right? Which I hate because I miss my honey. But my back was getting, it was getting so bad and flaring up so much that it just, I couldn't take it anymore. You know what? I've got this one and it's got the blue in it too. I want to kind of keep with the blue structure because, um, the reds, there's no red, you know, we've got the blue on the front, so... Anyway, um, so yeah, I've been sleeping on the couch, and uh, what was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to tell you. I had a point. Of course, I interrupted myself, and now I can't remember what it was. Oh, what was it? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, well, I guess it wasn't very important, my mother would say. I'll remember it eventually, but... Anyway, yeah, I've been sleeping out here, and my back is feeling a lot better. Um, but it's kind of funny. For whatever reason, I've kind of been getting, like, this leg cramp. Um, and I, I think it's from the couch. And I'm like, okay, great. So if it's not the back, it's the leg. If it's not the leg, it's the neck. It is not. Do you always, do any of you ever feel like it's like, it's, if it's not one thing, it's another, it's the next thing down the list. That's how I've been feeling. I'm like, it's crazy. Um, how much, and I'm going to cut this one down since it's so big and utilize it that way, I think. But yeah, it's just absolutely crazy how we, as we get older, if it's just, if it's not one thing, it's another. I mean, my goodness. We were sitting there at lunch yesterday, and, you know, she's 75, and he's 94, and we were talking about, you know, getting older and and just the pain. And she was saying, you know, if you ask me if I'm in pain right now, I'm sitting here, I would say no. But the minute I stand up, oh, my goodness. And I said, exactly. I mean, you know, and, and you just feel pathetic. <laughs> you just start to feel like 
Gee whiz. What's wrong with me? You know? So, yeah. That isn't what I was going to tell you about, I don't think. But, but that's what I'm experiencing is a pain in my right leg that seems to be worse when I wake up in the morning. So, <laughs> I'm thinking it's got something to do with the couch. But, yeah. Oh, I tore that. Dang it. Oh, well. It's okay. I like these little edges. They look cool. They just give it kind of a fun, eclectic look, you know? A little bit different. I'm just going to tear that piece off there and probably distress this because it's... There we go. Where's my... Yeah, let's do that. There we go. And with that... Yeah, I'm not cutting these very evenly, I know. But good enough. I don't really want it to be um, perfect. I, I like, I've been really in a kind of a grungy, even like the, the kit I'm working on, which, oh my goodness, I'm hoping will be done soon because I've been working on it for two weeks now and I'm like, okay, I want to get, get it finished. Um, it's more grungy and it's a steampunk kit and, um, yeah, it's, it's totally grungy. I've just seemed to be in a grungy kind of mood lately. Okay, that's weird. Did I put that upside down? Huh. Okay, don't matter. So I hope you guys like these and find them inspiring. I really, I just really thought they were kind of fun. I don't know. I've been trying to figure out, I've got piles of index cards and I've been trying to kind of figure out what I wanted to do with them, you know? And I didn't want to just do the same old, same old. So I sat down this last week and thought, okay, let's let's do something different. And so yeah, this is kind of what I came up with. Well, I came up with a couple of things. So I'll be doing, um, I want to make some, what do you call it? Uh, some, basically some strips, but I want to do it with uh, coffee dyed paper and stamping and maybe some uh, stenciling even. I'm not sure yet, but I may be doing it with some of that. Now this is thickening this up a bit, but I, I really don't mind because I like the way it looks. I think it's cute. So and I got one more here. Let's see, will this one fit? Not quite. It's a little bit short. I want it a little bit longer than that. But I got to use my tape. Yay. What did we call this? It was our, basically it was our washi tape. I think I was, I named the video something about using double-sided tape to make washi tape. Okay. There we go. All right. So now we have little snippets left to play with, which are good. Always good. Okay. Oopsie. Okay. There we go. There's that. Now, I'm going to choose up. I'm looking here at my sorry silk. I'm wondering if this green. No, that one. What colors do we have left? I'm almost out. I do believe I'm going to pause for a sec. I'll be right back. Okay, I went and grabbed some of my uh, crinkle seam binding. And so with that, super easy to attach. I just used a strip of paper. Um, as a matter of fact, because we have those little strips, we can use those as a piece. Oh, I don't need that. Yeah, we can use these. Let's see, do I want to use one that's cut or one that's jaggedy looking, torn looking? <coughs> Let me see here. Okay, you don't need much. You're just gonna want 
to be able to cover the edge. And you could even do it from the inside. I just I kind of like the way it looks as a decorative piece on the outside. Just trying to decide which one I want to use here. Hmm. I think that's fine. So I'm just going to tear the tape off. Put some glue on it because I don't want it to come up. I don't trust tape. <laughs> Even the double-sided good tape, I still don't completely trust it. Okay. Just going to center that as much as... Oh, I've got this. No, I'm okay. Okay. Flatten that out. Kind of center it there. Tear that a little bit. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to cut it kind of, you know, about what? Three or four, four inches, something like that, five inches. I want it enough that I can tie it. And then I'm going to grab the other piece. Put some glue, and I'm just going to glue it directly to the back of the booklet our little index card booklet. And again, I'm going to flatten this, kind of center it. You sit this down on top. Glue that little baby down. Okay. All right, now and then we've got our little tie. Cute little closure for the side. If you cut it too long, just snip it off. I think that's a, whoops. It'll be easier once it's glued into a journal to tie it up, but you get the, you get the gist, right? There we go. Not bad. I may end up trimming some of this off right here. I keep these little bits because sometimes I use them on other stuff. But there's that closure. And now, what time is it? Okay. Let's see here. We're going to do something. I think I'm probably going to use a picture instead of this stamp. Um, I'll use it on something else. I'll find something for it because it's adorable. She's pretty, but she doesn't really look right on that background. Let's see. Oh, she's got blue. See, this one might look good. Let's give her a try. We're going to have to cut some of this off on the top because she's a little tall. I don't know. There we go. That's better. Now, you know what I think I'll do instead of that? I'm going to grab my Oh, it's over here. The Mariner's Blue or Uncharted Mariner. Sorry. Wrong name. Wrong name. And I think I'm going to go ahead and add some of that around these edges. Oh, I didn't put the brown on the back. <laughs> I didn't realize. <laughs> oh, well. That's okay. It can be added later if I want to at all. 
And you can decorate the back or you can leave it open. I do, I, I kind of want this, these pieces to be um, used for journaling. So I'm not over decorating or overfilling. But you could put pockets, um, you know, you could make it really uh, full of different fun things. So for me, I just kind of wanted to use them as journaling spaces, you know. And then we're going to take, I'm going to get my um, vintage photo and I'm just going to kind of go over this. She's very bright white. You know, I didn't like that. You know how I am. I just love the old, old vintage look personally. Okay. I'm going to put her there. And I think I'm going to add a lovely statement. Walk by faith. Hallelujah. And not by sight. It's a wiser way to walk. Amen? It's true. To trust in the Lord with all your heart. And to lean not upon your own understanding. But in all your ways. Acknowledge him. Acknowledge God and he will make your path straight. How often do we, by our own standards and our own wisdom, end up walking right into a trap made of our own, it's of our own making many times, you know? Because we trusted in ourselves and didn't walk by faith in God. And that I am so guilty of creating my own outcomes and them not being the outcome I wanted. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I forgot I didn't have her glued down. And I'm wondering, should I put her off to the side? I think I will. Yeah, I like her better there. And also, I'm thinking maybe, I don't know, put something. Do I have any blue in here? I have got so much stuff in here. Oh, my goodness. Do I have blue netting? No, I don't. I don't think I do. I mean, I have some, but it's not in here. Let me see. Blue. I could use black. Hold on one sec. Okay, you guys. <laughs> I have just spent the past 15 minutes searching for one thing, and I knew I had more of it, and I couldn't find it, and I about killed myself. <laughs> pulling everything out of my drawers with my material, my fabrics and stuff, and all my baskets with my laces, wore myself out, you can tell I'm winded, and I was about to give up, and then when I went to put the drawer back in, it wouldn't go in right, and when I pulled it out again and looked behind, there was what I was looking for, the Lord is so good to help me find it, <laughs> it had fallen out of the drawer. This is how much of it I had. This is the, what I was looking for. The, the cheesecloth. The blue cheesecloth. I was like, oh my goodness. I knew I had it. I knew I had it. Oh, that was funny. Oh, goodness sakes. I did. I about killed myself finding this. So we are going to figure out a way to use it no matter what, okay? I just wanted to put... I just thought it would be kind of cute to put some behind the picture of her. Do I have my... Of course I don't have my hot glue gun on. Why would I? <laughs> Why would I have something on that I'm going to need? You know, that makes no sense, right? I'm cutting that down a little bit. See if I can... I just wanted some underneath her picture. I thought it would look pretty. And, you know, just add a little something-something of texture and eye candy for us on the piece. Let's see here. Gosh, I really did. I was bent over for like 10 minutes looking through baskets and stuff and about killed my back. But I found it. But I found it. Just all that for just this little flare, you know. I just want that little bit of something on the... I kind of want it poking up. I don't want it perfect. It's got to look kind of scraggly. There we go. That's great. I, don't, I really don't want to glue this on... Um, with wet glue I kind of wanted to use the hot glue because it just 
sinks right through the cheesecloth onto the, but my glue is very cold, very, very cold, as you can see, nothing. My poor glue gun, it's so covered. Does your glue guns look like this? It's horrible, right? I probably should get a new one, but this one still works. I mean, I know it looks pathetic, but it works. <laughs> I want to get one like Tina has. I've always wanted one of those because it's got that fine tip on it, you know. Well, it's coming off, but not fast enough to make any difference. Um, yeah, it's got that fine tip on it, which, you, you know, is so handy for those small areas. But uh, I've never been willing to spend the money on it. I'm cheap. It's true. I'm a bit, I'm a bit of a... I am definitely a bargain shopper. That's for sure. I won't say I'm cheap, because if I need to get it, I'll, I will, but I've always made this one work. You know what I mean. If I could just get it to run hot a little faster. So sorry for the wait. Oh my gosh, you guys would have laughed at me if you had seen me digging for this cheesecloth. Seriously. I, I was just like... Oh, but one thing I did want to say that stood out while I was doing all my searching. See, this one gets hot pretty quick. Look at that. One of the things I wanted to say is thank you again to anybody who's ever sent me anything in a Happy Mail. Honestly, as I was looking for this, I started digging through all my stuff and I was finding all these beautiful things, tre treasures that my friends have sent me. Um, and everything I was pulling out, I was having a memory of one of you, you know, and I was just, I just thought I've got to tell them thank you again because your generosity has been above and beyond overwhelming and so filled with love and made me feel so special and so loved. I mean it. Thank you so much. Let's see. We'll put this one there. Walk by faith and not by sight. Okay, so there's that. And then on the inside, you've got all this writing space. See? And it's glued together nice. You've got a flap to glue down in your book. And then you've got this little booklet holding it down so like it's glued down. And you've got this adorable little booklet they have extra writing space in. But like I said, you can do, um, we did that pocket, but you can do pockets all throughout. And make this a really fun little hidey hole, you know, place for memorabilia and mementos and stuff. Yeah, so I hope you guys feel inspired. And if you gave it a try, let me know. Let me know in the comments if you liked it. And if you made one, feel free to hit at Tara, Tara's Take. And that way I can see it. Um, and also, uh, if you're not, if you are part of our Facebook group, post it on Facebook. Or if you're not yet a family member there, please feel free to join us at Creative Cuties. And... You can also join me on Instagram at Tara's Take or X, which used to be Twitter, on Tara's Take. And um, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe leave a comment, even a heart or a thumbs up that would um, send it out on the algorithm and get it out there for others to see. Okay, and if you're not a member of our family, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here. God bless you guys, and I will see you on Monday. Take care. Bye-bye.